Let's show how to install WooCommerce today. WooCommerce is the e-commerce platform for WordPress. If you've got a WordPress website, having WooCommerce on your website makes it possible to sell anything from physical products to online courses, services, subscriptions, memberships. It's an incredibly powerful platform. The basic business model for WooCommerce is every basic feature on on the WooCommerce plugin is free and then they get you with a whole bunch of add-ons to it which you can keep the cost down by just picking the add-ons you actually need. Here's a look at what WooCommerce, just the shop page, looks like on jerrybanfield.com shop. I had this installed on my website before a few years ago. It was working great, and then I had the brilliant idea to take it down. And now I'm setting up everything on my domain on jerrybanfield.com and doing it with WooCommerce products because it gives me the best possibility to make the most sales. What I've learned the hard way over the last several years is that having everything I do in so many different places makes it really hard to maximize sales. If someone comes in looking for one online course, they might realize they really want a service from me and vice versa. WooCommerce allows me to put all this on my domain at jerrybanfield.com to sell all of it there and most importantly to provide a consistent customer experience. Everyone that's on jerrybanfield.com goes through the same buying process with WooCommerce. I'll show you how to get it installed now. The first key of course is why do you want to use Use it and you want to use it to earn money on your website. The best way to monetize uh, the websites I've seen, especially my website, has been to have all my products and services directly on it. Thus, how do we actually get WooCommerce installed? This will walk you through getting it installed. You first click on Get Started. And then once you click on get started, it will ask you to sign in with your a wordpress.com account, which if you've not used wordpress.com before, this may initially be a bit confusing, but long story short, you need a wordpress.com account to use with WooCommerce and this is what it will look like. Once you've signed in and you might have had to sign up for a wordpress.com account, then you'll see your downloads. Your downloads are the plugins you can use. You'll have the basic WooCommerce plugin. This is what you need just to use the WooCommerce to put it on your website. Then you'll also have any other plugins that you've got from subscriptions or for free. For example, the Stripe plugin. The next step is to go into plugins on your WordPress.com website or on your WordPress website and click on Add New. When you click on add new, you can just search for WooCommerce and then click on install now. Then when you start installation, you will be guided through a detailed setup wizard. If you've installed WooCommerce on your website before, as I had, you won't see this. And you do need to see this if you want to get it set up correctly, especially if you installed it a while ago and took it back off. If you don't see this setup wizard after you activate WooCommerce and try and start using it, you need to go through and edit your wp.config file or underscore config file and then you need to put in a specific phrase that I'll link to the help resource in the description that tells WooCommerce when it's uninstalled to wipe the whole database. Then if you're not seeing this, you need to put that in your config file, wipe the database and put it back on. And that's what I had to do after figuring this out the hard way. Thus, the, uh, by trying to use it and finding everything was broken. When you go back in and get started with the setup wizard, it'll look like this. You fill in your store, your address, and uh, what kind of products you want to sell. Next, you put in Stripe and PayPal. I highly recommend, at a bare minimum, use PayPal and or Stripe. I use both PayPal and Stripe, and I'm going to add Amazon Pay in as well. The interface for this is very smooth. Thus, you set up your Stripe account, and I will show separately how to set up the Stripe account specifically with WooCommerce. The PayPal integration is very good, and when you click the button, it'll help you get that set up. Then you've got shipping options. 
I've put on automated taxes and the WooCommerce admin. I will also add MailChimp soon as I switch my list back over to MailChimp. And uh, I did not put the Facebook. These are ex extensions you can uh, put into the store. The next thing, when you go to activate, it recommends using Jetpack. I hit continue to put also put on Jetpack. And when you go through it, it'll use your WordPress.com account for Jetpack also, and it'll look like that. Then you've went through and installed it. The next key thing to do is set up the Stripe keys when WooCommerce is actually running. Now, there's so much to do in WooCommerce that you it can take a lot of time to get set up, but it's really worth the time instead of trying to sell all over the place. What we'll do next is show how to get these Stripe account keys set up, and then you'll be up and running on both Stripe and PayPal. Just click on set up your Stripe account keys here, then you'll need to go through this and sign in with Stripe to connect. Very smooth to do. Once you've done that, you'll have Stripe as a payment method. It'll have Stripe up there as something you can use to accept credit card payments, and there's other Stripe's payment methods you can use. This is what it looks like uh, beforehand, before you've got it synced up. And then once you've got it synced up, you'll see your Stripe account is directly connected here. And this means you don't have to put any of those keys into it yourself. You literally just log in and do that. If you're using the Astra theme for very smooth and fast user experience, it's one of the top themes currently, then you can go over into Astra also and click on activate under WooCommerce. And this will activate specific features within the Astra theme that are specifically set up for WooCommerce. Then when combined with LearnDash, this is outstanding to be able to sell online courses, which is the main product I'm looking to sell in my WooCommerce store. When you get started with WooCommerce, you need to set up some basics in the settings under advanced. You need to make sure the cart page, the checkout page, the my account page, and the terms and conditions page are all set correctly. If these are not set correctly. You can have awful errors. For example, when you click on on a product, click on add to cart, it'll bug out and say there's no cart. For some reason on my website, probably because I had WooCommerce before and deleted the page or something like that, if you go to jerrybanfield.com slash cart, it bugs out. So I had to manually go in and create a new page as you'll see when I click add to cart here and view cart now, it actually goes to jerrybanfield.com slash cart my cart. Thus, if you have any issues, you shouldn't if you've installed it for the first time. But if you've ever had anything else and it messes up, then what you need to do is just create a new page. If any one of these don't work, just create a new page. I called it my cart and I called the, the checkout page fortunately is working. But you need to make sure all these pages are on the correct page and test the functionality to make sure everything actually works. Then, the next step we've got over here, we've got the uh, if you're using Learn Dash or something else that requires people to have an account, there's a key step to use. What you need to do is turn off allowing the ability for customers to place orders without an account or check out as a guest. If you got any kind of membership or online learning plugin like Learn Dash, you make sure turn that off because you need people ha to have an account to access their product. For example, on my website, I need people to be able to access their courses on jerrybanfield.com. Therefore, I make sure to turn that off. And you also want to create, click, allow customers to log into an existing account during checkout and allow customers to create an account during checkout and allow customers to create an account on the My Account page. This makes it easy for people that are on jerrybanfield.com to create an account from anywhere. And this makes it even easier when creating an account and automatically generates a username and password that are then emailed. However, I'm thinking about whether I want to check these to make people actually do it themselves and know that they're creating an account. 
And if for using LearnDash, then there's a key extension here, WooCommerce for LearnDash. Install now. This helps LearnDash, learning management system for selling online courses, integrate better with WooCommerce so that in WooCommerce, I've got a custom product type called a course. And then WooCommerce and LearnDash tell each other, oh, when someone bought this WooCommerce product, it gives access to this LearnDash course. And once I've got WooCommerce all set up, I'm ready to create courses on LearnDash. And then you've got something that looks like this. I've got all these courses that are both products and courses on my website. And I'll show you the difference on how these look. If you go to jerrybanfield.com slash courses, this is created with LearnDash. And this is the course I'm putting all of this information in. Create and sell online courses with LearnDash, Cartflows, and WooCommerce on a WordPress website. Then I click on take this course. When I click on take this course, I used a URL from WooCommerce and that'll be shown later in the course. I used a URL directly from WooCommerce to automatically add that to cart. And you'll notice it's added automatically at the sale price as well. Then I just click on view cart here and this shows me exactly what courses are in. Meanwhile, if I click on the shop button, this instead goes to my WooCommerce shop. Note the difference. These are courses and you'll see these course landing pages are created with LearnDash. If I click on shop up here, these are product pages created in WooCommerce. LearnDash does have the ability to allow direct checkout from the course itself. However, I've chosen not to use that because WooCommerce will allow me to sell anything. I could take this t-shirt off and stick it in as a product in WooCommerce and even offer the option for people to have it washed or unwashed. If you want to really just smell how I smell and have the shirt just sent to you straight after I wear it, I can, I can add anything like that all in my shop and therefore I don't want LearnDash to be selling courses separately from everything else on my website. Thus, this is the WooCommerce product page itself that in the course I walk you through creating in just a little bit farther. And when I click on any of these shop buttons, on the LearnDash integration, when I'm clicking take this course on LearnDash, it's the same as I'm clicking on add to cart in WooCommerce. But note that each of these URLs is different. This one is at jerrybanfield.com slash shop slash one hour class. If I click on courses and go to the same course, that one's at jerrybanfield.com slash courses slash one hour class. But clicking take this course here because of the LearnDash integration, allows it to go directly into my WooCommerce cart. Then when I click on view cart, I can see everything in my cart. And the awesome thing is I've got three different options to check out. Per, you can click on proceed to checkout or you can click on PayPal, which will check out with PayPal or any of these credit card buttons will actually bring the form in directly in the page. And I just added and I'm testing Amazon Pay. This is up on here as well. If you click on proceed to checkout, then the interface looks like this. It's got all these different fields in it from WooCommerce checkout. And the nice thing is that people can check out directly on the cart page without having to use this. However, this is the default WooCommerce checkout page with everything installed. You'll see the exact products listed. It's got PayPal, credit card, and then website terms and conditions, also PayPal here and Amazon Pay up here. It has the ability to put coupon codes in and log in as a returning customer. If I check some of the options differently, it'll also make people create an account specifically for the website. And that's the beauty of WooCommerce on WordPress. And you'll see that's at jerrybanfield.com slash purchase. I had to configure that because the checkout page wasn't working. That's the beauty of having it set up like this is that I've got the same sales process I can use to sell anything. That's how you integrate WooCommerce and install WooCommerce into a WordPress website to sell anything. And I think it's especially useful for online courses and services and whatever else you want to put in at your own website.com slash shop.